afternoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so happy to see many, so many of you here this afternoon. My name is Klein Harrison. I'm the Associate Provost for Global Affairs at Wake Forest. And we have been looking forward to this event for the past couple of years. Four years. <laughs> In particular, the past couple of years as we've begun preparations for not only celebrating this 40th anniversary of the program, but also the 800th anniversary of the University of Salamanca. And I might also add, honor Candela Scala, who is retiring and has served as the director of this program for so many years. So um, we're just, again, so happy you're here. As all of you know, Salamanca is a very special place. Um, for those of you who have lived here, it becomes your second home. You love it so much. For those of us who come on occasional visits, it's a place we constantly want to return to. It's such a very um, wonderful place and it's been home to, I think I counted up um, probably 1,200, 1,500 students over the past 40 years if you look at all the semesters that um, we've been here. And when you think about what makes it such a special place, it's obviously a combination of things. We like to think it's the, the program that we offer here, a very special quality um, language immersion program that makes it special. But also, those of you who lived here as alumni know it's also the host families who make it such a special place. It's also the staff that serve us and work with us. Um, from Javier and Fernando and their predecessors, that's what also makes it special. And also, I would say, our long-standing partnership with the University of Salamanca. And last but not least, alumni and students like yourselves who have been here. The students are what makes it special, your classmates and so forth. So as a result of all that, the universe, this program um, here with Salamanca has become one of our premier study abroad programs. In fact, not only does it have such a strong reputation on campus and beyond for the quality of the program, but also um, because for us it is a model of best practices and um, we use it as we grow and build other programs um, across Wake Forest. And as I, uh, we think about all of you who are alumni, who've come back here, you know, you're just returning as evidence of what a strong program this is. We believe you wouldn't be back here unless you had such a wonderful experience and wanted to, to revisit and to celebrate this occasion for us. So you're returning, we thank you because it confirms for us that what we're doing is, is a good thing, that we're on the right path here, that we're doing something um, very special and not only, I would say, broadening horizons, developing minds, but also transforming lives, and something we hope to continue to do. So we are so happy each of you are here um, with us. We look forward to revisiting the city with you, to conversing with you at the Academic Center, which may be new to some of you since we moved about 11, 12 years ago. Um, we also look forward to communing with you over meals and um, um, we certainly look forward to um, expanding our own minds with you as we have a lecture um, this <clears throat> evening and discussion roundtables tomorrow and so forth. And we also look forward to sharing more with you about Wake Forest and what we're doing on the home campus as part of our overall global initiatives. But all that's more to come. We wanted to keep this afternoon just a very simple welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for, for returning home to Wake Forest for returning to your Wake Forest family, um, all of us here, and we're so glad you did. So again, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here today. We are delighted to have you here in this marvelous city of Salamanca. And on behalf uh, of the Consular for uh, Culture and Tourism, whose presence was predicted in this reception, but finally, uh, for reasons beyond his control, he was unable to attend. So he sends his apologies for his absence, and I apologize on his behalf. My name is Carmen Ballesteros. I'm in charge of the Language Tourism Department, which is within the municipal company called Tourism, Commerce, and Economic Promotion of Salamanca. We are now in the reception hall, here in this very chamber, the most important personalities are received. Worldwide authorities, political dignitaries, kings, queens, and even the emperor, the emperor of Japan. 
Hollywood stars and top sports people. And today, all of you are our VIP guests <laughs> because you are very important for this city. As a student of Spanish, you came to Salamanca to learn and practice the Spanish language. And we offer you our neutral Spanish accent, <laughs> <laughs> a very safe and well-kept city, our own university that this year celebrates its eighth centenary, but we have a mutual benefit because we also receive from you very important things, the customs and traditions that all of you brought from your homelands. And all of this have been enriching and benefiting our lives and our city for 40 years now. Each year, uh, each year over 30,000 students from around the globe, as well as you did, choose Salamanca in Spain as the, pla as the place to learn put into practice and fine-tune their Spanish language skills, consolidating Salamanca's position as a point of reference for language tourism in Spain. And Salamanca is the second Spanish city with a higher number of centers certified by Instituto Cervantes, the official institution in charge of promoting and fostering the Spanish language and culture. Given this background, the municipality decided to create a new department exclusively dedicated to the management of idiomatic tourism in the city in order to serve the needs and to cover the requirements of the students of Spanish who come to the city to learn and practice the Spanish language in the best setting. Because we strongly believe, we are absolutely convinced that Salamanca is the perfect city to learn Spanish and I think I'm right in saying that each of one of you has had plenty of opportunities to verify throughout the latter 40 years. Mm -hmm. To accomplish the same, nowadays we count with the first assistant and information office created and dedicated exclusively to attend the students of Spanish. It's the first and only office in Spain with these features. There are a lot of offices dependent upon universities, but there's no one directly managed by local administration. And the office has a strategic location in the very heart of the city, in the Plaza Mayor. In this office, we provide information about all kinds of issues, such as exhibition, cultural events, bank opening and closing hours, currency exchange, health issues. Furthermore, we provide assistance related to the administrative procedures. We also issue a free student card. With this card, they can get discounts on more than 50 shops, all sorts of shops. We also offer the opportunity to participate in leisure and cultural activities organized by the City Council, with free tickets for dance shows, concerts, etc., in order to promote the Spanish performing arts and involve the foreign students into the daily life of the city. And we distribute information brochure, flyers, and posters. You can find inside your welcome bag. I will give you later. Some of them have a didactical purpose. In a nutshell, our main goals are two. On one hand, the promotion of the city as the perfect destination to learn and practice the Spanish language. And on the other hand, giving support to the students during their stays. Our purpose is to make their stay as perfect as can imagine. And that they have an unforgettable experience. And if some unforeseen events happen, we will collaborate with our host universities and schools to solve it in the most effective way. We hope that they enjoy an unforgettable stay and when they return to their home countries, the memories of Salamanca was in their hearts because after this experience, not only linguistic, but also a life experience, they have become in some way as citizens and the ambassadors of Salamanca. We are confident to see them very soon, walking around our streets, perhaps with their families, friends, and telling them their experiences, in the same way all of you are doing in these days of anniversary. I would like to wrap up by saying that Salamanca is a magical place, both for learning Spanish and having a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And it's my very great honor acting on behalf of the City Council of Salamanca to give to the representative of Wake Forest University, with whom we signed an agreement in 2011, this commemorative plaque. 
Thank you for choosing the city of Salamanca and for your fidelity during these 40 years. And we hope it will be many, many more years. And I have this commemorative plaque, and I have the honor to give to the representative too. Thank you very much. see you very soon after this very important anniversary and so you can go out to the balcony <laughs> <laughs> and make pictures of one of the most beautiful square in the world and it's your square it's your main square also it's not just our plaza mayor it's your main square okay thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.